Hello again, fellow flat money travelers and coffee chat people. Steve Maloney here again from www.flatbellyfeeling.com with another video clip on improving the quality of our lives. And if you haven't seen one of my previous videos, what I've been talking about here is this idea of how we as human beings travel along this time continuum. You see, there was yesterday, there's today, and as far as we know it, there's tomorrow. And as we go along this travel, we like to improve the quality of our lives. And we do this by going through natural steps, which we've talked about, this idea of desire, this visualization process, this recognition of the ability within us, the actions we take, all encompassing an overall attitude. And today, I'm going to talk about gratitude. And gratitude is one of those things which can help to explain how it all works. And therefore I want to share some of my thoughts and ideas on gratitude. And if I come across as using myself as an example too much or talking about myself a lot, it's not that I want to come across as conceited or something like that. It's that gratitude to me is a very experienced thing. And therefore, to explain what i got to explain, it's best to share the expression of that experience. Also, if this comes across as a little bit esoteric, or maybe even off-topic of the greater idea of improving the quality of our lives, it's because in order for me to say what i got to say, i gotta, I got to dig a little bit deep. That's all. And why gratitude? Why talk about gratitude? Well, as I see it, really, it's twofold. First of all, as I may have mentioned, and as you can imagine, gratitude can help to improve the quality of our lives. And therefore, it has value. It adds value to our lives. And secondly, gratitude is one of those things we can use to explain how all this thing called life works. Sort of, anyways. You see, it's one of those things we can choose to involve ourselves in. And when we do, when we're really sincere about it, we can get to experience the results quite quickly. So we see how our input in life results in something. What is gratitude? Well, as I see it, gratitude is really an attitude of acceptance, isn't it? I mean, if you see somebody who's grateful for something, it's as though they accept that which they're grateful for in that moment. We've all experienced situations like this where somebody offers us something. And we say, thank you, thank you for that. And in that moment we accept what the person is offering. We can also remember other situations probably where the same situation we say, no thanks, or thanks, but no thanks. In other words, we don't accept, it doesn't resonate with us somehow, the the thing the person's offering. And my first thoughts on gratitude were along this lines of interpersonal play between two people, where one person would say thanks for something, the other person would say something like, you're welcome. In other words, it was a like an emotional connection in that moment of, of acceptance between two people. And as I began to observe gratitude more, I noticed there were certain people who could be for sure grateful for other people and towards other people. But also they would have this overall attitude of gratitude where they could be grateful for everything, seemingly. They could be grateful for the air they breathed, for the hands they had with which to work, for the technology they have to make their life more comfortable. And surprisingly, they could even be thankful for their past, even the crappy parts, because all of it helped them create who they became, who they become, and even that they were grateful for. The scope and scale of this observation had a huge impact on me, especially the idea of being grateful for my past. However, I found with practice, I too could develop the ability to 